Okay, so if you have a gas gauge and you're not sure if it's the sending unit or the gauge itself, just simple test you can do with an ohm meter. Uh, so I've hooked up uh, my ground and my positive. It doesn't matter for polarity. We're just looking to see uh, what if the gauge is moving uh, smoothly or not. That's important. It has to move smoothly. If it's jumping around a lot, the contacts are dirty and it's not going to give a good reading on the gauge. It'll be jumping all over the place. It'll go from full to empty in a matter of seconds. Um, so you just set up your leads, set your meter to ohms. You can see I've got mine set there. And then you just take your float and just move your float and you should see the gauge move slowly. See mine's moving pretty smooth. And then when it gets right up to the full tank, it's going to, you know, one ohm or one thousandths ohm. You can see it jumping around there. So I've got some dirty contacts. Um, but an important thing to note is when you set up your leads, you can't touch them. You have to actually have them clamped or isolated because if you're touching them, you become part of the circuit and you'll mix your readings up. Um, see if I can show that. I don't know if I can touch the whole thing all at once here. Uh, not really. But you can see it's... Well, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, maybe I just have it set a little too sensitive or not sensitive enough. But anyway, try not to touch them because you'll interfere with the uh, your findings. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the boat. I cleaned the contacts the best I could. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my hand to manually sweep the float back and forth. I'm going to watch the gauge to make sure that it can hit all ranges of the gauge and that it's not jumping around too much. Uh, I've kind of tested it a little bit already, and it is jumping. Uh, I'm hoping just with time it'll kind of, uh, you know, sand those contacts or clean those contacts a little more and begin to work even better. Um, but it is now working. Before it wasn't reading um, between three-quarter tank and quarter tank. It would just drop like a stone as soon as it hit those barks. Uh, but here, we'll uh, I'll just move it back and forth, and I'll put you guys on the gauge to watch it go back and forth. So it's just simple, just just moving the sending unit back and forth like this. And that's simulating a full tank or an empty tank. So that would be a full tank, that would be an empty tank. I don't know if you can see it, I can't quite see the gauge, it's a little sunny out here, but you can see it moving. So we're at a half tank there, full tank. I was trying to do a smooth sweep to make sure it's hitting all the, uh, all the ohm resistance to make the gauge read correctly and smoothly. Still a little shaky, uh, but it also could be my hand. I'm trying to hold the camera and the gauge while leaning over the back seat, so it's a little, it's not ideal. Right there, you can see from three quarter tank to a half half tank, it kind of jumps quite quite quickly there. Um, I can get it to stay in that middle range, um, but there's definitely some uh, contact issues there. But it is reading more or less how I want it to. It's, it's you know it's going to give me a, night, a good idea. It's not going to leave me stranded anywhere. Just a quick note. Um, so that's pretty much saying that it's empty, but the gauge is not or the float's not bottomed out. I can move it another little bit, and then it'll show that it's empty. Like right there, there's a bit of motion that's not even picking up. So I don't know if that's a kind of a built-in safety. So where you think you're out of gas, but you're not quite. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, it's working good enough for now. If it uh, gives me problems again, I'll crack it back open. Pretty easy, just three bolts on the hatch cover. Um, I think it was six bolts or six screws on the sending unit cap. You can see it down there. There's just a cover, some carpet. That's it. Pretty simple stuff.